And we are Wednesday, August 14th. We're 14 days into the fall planning season. And uh, we spent most of yesterday hunting for mushrooms. Um, kind of exploiting a little loophole in the game. As you can see, I've managed to increase my social standing pretty significantly. And uh, I have all but made up all the money from buying the cows and everything associated with that. Um, today we are, we have a sunny day, we expect no rain on the forecast, but we're up to over $18,000 and I'm going to go ahead and, uh, let's eat some applesauce because that seems to be our primary diet. As you can see, uh, 14 days in, we still have not repaired grandpa's house, but, uh, it doesn't seem to matter. I don't have a cat because I don't have a wife and as I kind of figured out the other day or in a previous episode I don't think I really need a cat until I get married because then she'll start prepping food and automatically putting it in the pantry um, the roof has got something to be desired but I'm kind of wondering if I can repair the roof without buying materials because it seems like it let me do all the other major repairs so we might do that today and uh, yeah I guess you could say you kind of wonder, you know, that loophole with the mushrooms, um, you know, is that kind of like take away from the challenge? I don't think so because, you know, they they still haven't fixed it. And uh, I've been playing this game for a little while and I was just curious, you know, when how much time would pass. And, and to my surprise, the uh, the mushroom challenge they gave was a was uh, kind of like a really difficult one. So once I beat it. And if you haven't seen that episode, go ahead and you can go back and watch the previous episode. It's not a very long one, uh, mainly because I'm not going to sit there and make you watch me just constantly look for mushrooms. Um, but I basically was able to, I was able to go ahead and search for mushrooms, repeat the challenge, complete the challenge the first time. And because it was a high dollar challenge, I, I, I was able to get pretty good money and uh, pretty, uh, I think it was two hundred dollars and four hundred uh, social points every time I completed the challenge. Well, they don't ever reset the challenge. You start at once you've beaten the challenge, your counter starts at zero, at one or zero, and so the very first mushroom you pick up, you complete the challenge, and so that kind of defeats the point of the game. But I'm sure at some point they need to fix that if they want this to kind of continue. Let's see if we'll go ahead and. Since we don't have any rain on the forecast, we're going to have to spend a little bit of money cranking up this. I was also able to accumulate a ton, a, a, a ton, look at that, 248 mushrooms. That's going to be great because when I get the zucchini and I take the mushrooms and the eggs and I kind of mix them together, um, that's going to create some uh, some good money for me. Look at that stupid. So, yeah. I hate these dumb things. Let's clean this up a little bit. All right, did, I, did that work? Yeah. Yeah, it worked well enough. So I've got all my tools here. I don't have a lot going on. I still haven't harvested my my um, fields. I did put scarecrows out there to kind of keep the birds out of it. But we're going to come over here and uh, we're going to go milk our cows. Because now we have all these great cows and we can collect milk. And I'm pretty convinced that I'll be able to turn that a profit within the, this challenge. And uh, if you haven't watched any of the previous episodes, I'm doing the $100,000 challenge uh, to bring in at least $100,000 in revenue uh, in my first planning season. Uh, the game begins, you start on August 1st and the, the season ends on September 30th. And I'm banking pretty highly on the idea that in September they have a fall festival that allows me to really sell all my goods at double the price. And so I'm collecting everything. Um, I'm even buying some things from other, uh, other uh, you know, some of the market. I'll buy stuff from them if I know I can sell it at a higher price when the fall festival rolls around. So for the most part, uh, we're trying to see how far I can get. You know, can I hit that hundred thousand dollar mark? Uh, it seems kind of like a, sh a sure thing. We're fourteen days in, 
I've got nine cows. Um, I'm, mil I'm able to milk them now. I probably should have bought the cow sooner, but that's okay. Um, I've had eggs since day two or three. I've had all my hens. So I was able to fix these two buildings pretty quickly at no cost because the game allows you to do that. All right, let's see how much. Now, you start with a certain amount of hay already. Um, let's go ahead and see how much we got left. So they're, uh, so they're eating, I think, uh, oh, let's see, I've had them for about three days. So they're eating about 20 kilograms a day. That's not bad. That's, that's pretty light work. I mean, considering I've got 9% storage on that. And then as far as the, the uh, hens, they're doing pretty good. They got about 47% of their feed. So they don't eat much each. Uh, they might eat 20 a day. It's, it's really relatively minor. So let's see what we got on the agenda. Things we need to accomplish. So um, we could still uh, harvest our fields. But as I've been saying in almost every episode, it seems kind of like pointless unless there's unless the price has gone up so let's see what the price is um it has not been overly great now wheat has started to come up a little bit uh canola is at 675 the wheat was at 380 now it's at 412 so that means uh if i come and check the old mill you know wheat's at 619 but i i mean the wheat can get up around seven eight hundred so let's you know, let's see what else we got going on here. They want pumpkin soup. I'm not doing that. They want pumpkin soup. I'm not doing that. And they want tomatoes. I'm not wasting my time with that. Oh, we got a fourth job up here. Oh, we got a transport job. So we can do that. Um, that's actually fairly painless. And uh, we can jump in the truck and run up there. And I, I don't really see any value in, in giving away my tomatoes or the soup i mean it's for social points it just you know i don't know if i'm wrong you guys tell me um i have not purchased any other fields like i said i'm saving all my money um i really don't i mean because we're because the challenge involves having the money before and that that is after we plant for the spring spring season i want to be able to ideally i'm kind of going more towards the greenhouses because the return on that is monthly but it this does allow me to do one thing and that allows me to go ahead and splurge a little bit of money on some more uh um uh beehives for honey so these are about 250 each so you know you can but and i think you collect you can collect one one jar out of each of them i think once a week so that's good money. There's nothing to be said about that. So that's two fifty. That's seven fifty uh, that I've spent. But with the amount of money that uh, that's fifteen hundred that I've I gained, I kind of feel like that opened up the door. The money I got from the mushrooms that kind of opens up the door for me to go ahead and spend on these these other items and so you can put some more over here there we go so we're looking at so that's 15 22 50 and i think if i remember the last bit i gotta come all the way over here i'm running i already have these so it's, there's you have three over there I can have three over there in that in that area, three over there, and I, I thought I could have three over here. I'm not sure if it's just two. No, it's just two. But let's see, can I collect anything out of these guys? No, nothing yet. So that's that's gonna pay off. Uh, I can tell you right now, each jar of the honey in the fall festival will pay about I think it was seventy five dollars a jar. So that's good money. I mean, that's real good money. Uh, I'm still stopping everywhere I go to uh, collect apples wherever possible. And I see I got some apples here. Did I put a scarecrow? Yes, I did. So the scarecrow is going to help keep uh, people uh, birds from... It's going to increase my yield 
all my trees. Um, usually, there's going to be, it's a little blurry, but um, there's going to be a relatively, these things will, you'll harvest them about once a year. Um, but it looks like I have a few extras, so that I may have missed, I think. Uh, not once a year. You get them twice a year. You get them. Uh, you can harvest them in the fall, and I think in the spring, uh, or it might be summer and fall. I can't remember. It's, but either way. But this is good because then uh, what that allows me to do, and my plants in my greenhouse are almost ready, but it allows me to go in and um, I can go into my kitchen, which needs <laughs> my roof is so shot. Uh, I can go into my kitchen, I can prep applesauce, and that gives me something to eat that's fairly cheap. See, I picked up 24. That doesn't take any time, so we'll just make some applesauce real quick. Okay, so I got, a, got some more applesauce. And, uh, I don't know. I think we'll go and, uh, if we hit our map, I don't have tomatoes and stuff. I wonder if I can buy tomatoes from uh, Janet next door. Because maybe if I could buy tomatoes, there's th needs 30 of them there. The pumpkin, so the spicy pumpkin soup, I, I don't have. So that doesn't really help me any. Okay, so they wanted spicy pumpkin soup there. there. So uh, maybe I'll go visit my neighbor. And I haven't talked to her in a couple days, I think it is. And uh, maybe I'll go visit Janet. The canola prices haven't really changed much. But it's possible that... Uh, let's see how much gas I got. I got enough. It's possible that... Uh, um, they'll still go up a little bit. And so... I don't know. I'm in. I'm in no real big hurry. If I if I have a short day, I'll go ahead and I'll do. I'll go ahead and I'll harvest the canola. And if I don't sell it, then I will just. Uh, I will go ahead and put it in my silo, or in my uh, my other storage because you have two two storage places. You have, a there's a grain storage in the, uh, the barn above where you where you kind of work on your car your tractors and you park all your stuff there's a green storage above there and then you have the silo so i mean you got those two places but let's say hi to janet see what she's up to let's see she might have some tomatoes i can buy because that's going to be her main crop so let's see what she says we'll talk later what oh come on don't be shy care, care to talk, talk? Hello. Nice Hello. to see you. Oh, see nice nice weather, weather, ain't it? It sure is. Okay. You are so beautiful. I wish I'd dream about you tonight. Wow. You are a real charmer, aren't you? I'm laying it on thick there, aren't I? Let's see what her thoughts are. Oh, she's starting to work. Look at that. Hello. It's a little more than uh, she's nice warming to up to me. You. All right, um, let's see, is there something I can help you with? Uh, let's see, did I buy her Here, anything? I brought this for you. Let's give her a gift. Hmm, let's see, do I have any? Oh, flowers, yeah. That's so sweet. You are really nice. All right, so that's about as far as asking you. I don't think I can trade with her, though. It doesn't really let me trade, so... Well, I kind of wonder, can I trade with her? Let's let's try this again. I'm busy. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Put put it put it down. I want to try something. Cuz it it showed me what was in her inventory. I'm busy. No, you're not. Come on. Hello. Hello, Great Janet. Great to see you again. All right. Oh, okay. Okay, so all right, they're not Okay, that's it. They're not going to let me do it. It looks like I can't trade, uh, give her any more gifts right now. Thanks. See you around. Okay, so, so much for that idea. Uh, can't buy anything off her. 
which is kind of a bummer. But I was able to warm her up some more, so we're getting closer and closer to her uh, really, really liking me. Maybe uh, I can propose to her at some point in the near future. So let's cruise, up, cruise on up here to town. We're going to get that transport job. And uh, let's see if we can do that. Go ahead and get some gas <laughs> over here. Might as well. Not a big deal. We're good there. Okay, so now I gotta go figure out where this person's at. Oh, they're way up here now. They're up here fishing. We're gonna cut through here to get to them. No, don't run. Don't make me run you over. <clears throat> Start earning some of that money back that I spent on those beehives. Is there, is there something I can help you with? There is something I need, indeed. Okay. Care to bring the package to me? My friend has it now. Ooh, that's good money. Sounds good. Don't, I wouldn't stay in the water in those leather pants, but... Oh, so, I think I'm going to... Um, cruise on down here. In my dirty truck. I don't know if I want to go all the way because it's just gas. It's you know, there's no reason to burn gas. We can take uh, public transit, so we're gonna come over here to the bus stop. And uh, I'm pretty sure I know where they're wanting me to go, so it's not a big deal. Going right here. Let's check our map. Yep. It wants to come all the way down here again, so let's uh instead of driving there and wasting gas, we'll just take the bus. And we can get there even faster. Total turnaround time is like I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. What's our time? It's 920. And it probably took us 15 minutes to get to here. So let's run over here and back. So maybe an hour total turnaround time. Run, Forest, run. Dun, dun, dun. I kind of wish the game would let you. And I've talked about this before. It would be really cool if you could, if it had like a design mode where you could manipulate your farm and kind of customize it, you know, expand your property like you can in Farm Simulator. All right. I'm, I'm here, here for the package. package. Ooh, let's get up on personal. Sure. Here it is. It is. All right. Let's run back. So, and then, as, as the game moves on, I mean, you can do this. Like, see my truck's right here? I could jump right there, and I'm in my truck, and look how much time passed. 14 minutes. 
So you can actually really, you get these kind of like package delivery things. You can just quick jump. Kind of takes away from the, uh, if you're trying to play more realistic, but uh, if we're trying to maximize things, you're trying to get a lot, a lot of stuff done all in all in one day. Uh, that comes in real handy. Oh, there she is. Hey, don't, don't go nowhere. Here's the package you requested. Thank you. Here's something for you. Well, thank you. All right, cool. So. We're going to be at a net negative today, um, money-wise, unless we sell our canola. And I've been kind of stalling on that. Um, but maybe today is the day we need to actually start working on the farm. And we have some, we have plenty of time. There ain't nothing else going on. So I think we're going to harvest our canola field and take that down and sell it. I don't know what the maximum I can. I know what the max I can get on wheat is. Not, and, and I, I think we're about. Mm, the problem with the wheat is we're about halfway where we should be. You know, we should be able to sell it for about seven fifty at least, and it's at four hundred. So I'm having a hard time justifying selling it. But we could also, we could harvest it and throw it in the silo, and it could sit there all winter, and you know, it won't be a big deal. The canola, I think, we're kind of close to where its max is. I'm not sure. So, but I think it's kind of, you know, 14 days in. Got nothing else going on uh, outside of just general maintenance on the property. So, why not? We could jump in the harvester and get the wagon, get everything, kind of knock it out. And, uh,. Let's go ahead and harvest a field finally. Why not? So I'm gonna pull my pull my tractor around. Ooh. Boom. Get you. We'll get this guy. So we can go that way. So we can go this way. Boom. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Okay. There we go. Cruise all the way over here. We're gonna pick up that this uh, this grain wagon way over here where I left it. Let's just do the wheat because then I can I can harvest the wheat and I can um, I can bale the hay and then I can put that hay in my uh, some of that hay can go in my barn and the rest of it I can put in the silo so let's let's go do that because I'm not gonna sell the hay right now that's just not happening or the wheat we run over here to the once again, you could go to the map. You could quick jump to this stuff. I'm just, I don't know why I, I'm choosing not to quick jump for the sake of these videos. Okay, so let's pick up this guy. Oh, all right, don't get stuck. There we go. Don't destroy my... There we go. All right, so I got my harvester. We're gonna run this over here. And we're gonna get to work. Because there's a lot of work to be done over here. I've just been putting it off, so. Uh, mm hmm. Let's, uh, whoops, picked it up. Put her down. Donuts. 
It won't take too long to harvest this field. All right, so uh, we've finished doing that. We're going to drop off this wheat over at our silo. And then uh, we're going to hook up our hay baler and uh, collect all this uh, hay. Not hundred percent sure if I can pull the, the hay wagon behind the hay bale or this particular I know if I you know if you upgrade you can do that, but I don't know if I can do that with these. It'd be kinda cool if I could, but uh, you know, worst case I gotta walk around and pick them up. Um Okay, Ooh, stop. Alright, boom. Let's see how much we're filling up here. Uh let's see. 
We're going to max out right at 7,400. So you do the math, 7,400 kilograms, uh, and then they sell by the ton. Uh, and if, uh, if you need some help with that, the it, uh, one ton is equal to 907 um, kilos. Nine hundred and that's nine. I think it's nine eighteen, or nine hundred for roughly nine oh seven point eighteen. I think is what it is. Um. So, uh, if you if you were to sell that, you could just break out the calculator. If you got seventy four hundred, you multiply it, divide that by, um, nine hundred and seven nine hundred and seven point eighteen, multi and then multiply divide that by nine hundred seven point eighteen. That'll tell you how many tons you have and uh, then you would be able to calculate how much money you would make at market okay so this guy's oh I, all right I gotta come around to pick this guy up because he's parked this way so we'll go around the other side and uh, pick up our hay baler I'm gonna try and see if I can hook it up to that uh, that hay wagon and see if uh, it'll auto feed. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know if it will, but we'll give it a shot. And uh, right now I'm kind of wearing down. It's about one o'clock or what, three o'clock in the afternoon. Took longer to to harvest that field than I, I I expected. Let's see. There we go. All right. So let's go see if we can pick this guy up over here. Oops. What's my all right? I right, check my gas situation. I'm good on gas. I don't know. Ooh, shoot. Where's my... Oh. Of course, it's pointing the wrong direction. Dang it. Let's, uh, let's drop this off here for a second. All right. So we're going to drop this off. I got to move this uh, fertilizer out of the way. Because he's in my way again oh, wrong button there we go let's just pull you over here where you're not going to do any not going to get in the way all right leave you there and uh, we will take this wagon and uh, try and get it in a better position, I guess. This might be a waste of time. Well, we'll give it a shot. We're going to park it right here. See, I see it. I see a, like a, a, a hitch on the back of this thing. So I'm thinking I can do this. I don't know. We'll see. to drive drive around and hopefully when I turn this guy on let's see if we can get a better view of this yeah hopefully when I turn this guy on it's gonna auto feed it's gonna auto feed right out of the back of the baler into the wagon make things a lot smoother and faster for me so let's uh, let's uh, turn this guy on and see what happens uh, we'll find out real quick Sure enough, it worked. That makes light work of this. Let's see. I've got some piles off to the side here I want to pick up. I don't want to forget they're there. So, put these on here. 
do a couple laps, pick up this this stuff while I can. Okay. Okay, we're done with that. So let's run this over here. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna take these 19, and we're gonna drop them off at our cow barn, and then we'll come get the rest of them, and we'll just go sell them. Let's open up the doors. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna have to drive all the way straight through because there ain't no backing out of this thing. So. But we'll be able to load this guy up real quick and uh, our cows will be set for a while. Oh, come on. Oh, no. What's the deal? Why is it not getting up there? What's the deal? Is it is it getting stuck on something? Oh, just ran into my cow. That's not good. I guess it's not gonna let me do that. That's just stupid. Alright, well we'll do this. How about we do this? I'm gonna drop I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna unload. We will that sucks. Can't remember if I got dropped the bay here. There, it's 200. At least I didn't hurt my cow. I mean, this will last them a long time. I mean, if they're eating 20 units a day, I mean, we're at that's 2,000 units. I mean, that, that would last them a while. I mean, I got those those hens, and I I didn't buy it a lot. So, you got to wonder how much. I guess, I mean, it, it, the most you can put in here is 1,000 kilos. So, I think that's the max. Let's see how we're doing. Now, we've gotten another 1,000 uh, kilograms of uh, manure stored. So, we will uh, do this where we're at. Figure out where we're at. Uh, okay, so we're at 21.46. That's at 21%. But like I said, if I ain't got to buy it, that's money I, gotta, I can save. get all this done and like I said in the next few days there's no rain so even if I didn't get it all done today it'd be cool I wonder if I can just drop it here nope can't do it there you drop it there and you're good wait a second I know I can I think I can drop it here gone yeah oh come on where you at give me that all right yeah. so you have all these other cool features that are just more aesthetic they don't serve any real purpose other than the light light comes on almost there Make the cows happy. Make everybody happy. Gotta have happy cows. Needs more milk. I don't know. There are gonna be times in this game where you just there's just nothing to do. 
So you can do things like go fishing, um, go search for treasure, you know, other chests, I guess. Go look for mushrooms. But uh, I don't see a lot of value in delivering certain things to people around the Let's we'll see. All right, so we're at forty-nine percent. That's gonna hold these dudes down for quite some time, which is awesome. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna f see if we can finish picking up the rest of this field. And honestly, if I we'll cruise through here. Ooh, watch out for the tree branch. All right, so we'll see if we can pick up the rest of this field real quick. Field's almost done. Oh, we got another 19 bales. That's a good. That's good. It's not actually a bad haul. I mean, if you were to fill all these up and run them up there, you'd get 1,200 bucks, which would almost cover the cost for what I spent on the uh, on the uh, uh, beehives. But that's all right. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and top us top off our our cows here so they'll have food for like the next two years let's turn this light on got some light in here starting to get late in the day get this done get the rest of this uh, finished it'd be really cool if you could literally store this stuff upstairs but it just doesn't I, I, I mean, if I go upstairs, I don't think it's, and it's like, kind of silly. But if I try to store it up here, does it actually let me? I don't think it does. I think it just assumes. So if I drop it, yeah, yeah, it just takes, it just automatically adds it, which kind of sucks. It'd be nice if it, if it could store it, because then you could be set for a long time. A couple seasons of that with wheat and uh, we'd be done. Let's see where, where we're at. 61%. Alright. Oh, you can drop it right there? Yeah. Don't even have to go in the building. No, not there. It's gotta be inside. There, in the door. This time I'm running all the way in, just gotta get to the door. Let's see, we're at 69% capacity. I guess the assumption is that it's disappearing because you can store it, but it doesn't show it. So technically you are storing the hay, but you don't have to you don't have to bring them hay all the time. Let's see, 77%, wow. So I think it's kind of set up that this first harvest would definitely fill up that. This would definitely fill up your, uh, your stores for the winter. So you don't have to worry about your cows. One more. And that's, look at that, 89%. We're almost done. And it's taking us all day. So, well, I guess it was a productive day. We didn't make a lot of money. We, we ended up spending money today, but I think it, it'll be worth it in the end. See if we can get the rest of this stuff off the ground. Turn on my lights. 
can see it. Uh, kind of hard to see. So there we go. This is definitely made easier now that I realize I can pull the uh, hay wagon behind the baler. I think you'd be able to get that one last piece of bale out of there, but I guess not. I don't know. Maybe I can. Let's drop these last few pieces off. So all in all, I think I picked up, uh, let me see, it was uh, 38 plus 6, so that's 44 bales. That's not bad. Jump off. Grab some, uh, oh, oh, I need rest and food. It's been a long day. It's already 7.30 at night, so it uh, looks like this is going to be the end of our day. As soon as I finish hooking these guys up, uh, I think that's going to wrap up for today. Uh, took a lot longer to uh, harvest that field than I expected. But I did, you know what, I, I take that back. It, it, it didn't take too long to harvest the field and get the, get the hay. So we got the hay baled, we got it stored. And we are at 99% food production for our cattle. That's awesome. I'm gonna hit these lights, let them sleep. Go shut the doors. Ah, not too bad. I feel like I've been productive today. Uh, can I get that out of there? Nope. Won't let me. That sucks. So that means it's stuck in there until I find something else to do it with. Use it before. Okay, let's go park this guy. I don't know if pulling in here is really going to be helpful. Maybe. Maybe I can pull it all in here. Nah, that's not bad. I think I did we can shut that door. Oop! Right in my face. Shut that door. Bam! Right at the end. Yep, yeah, door shut. That'll work. I'd say that's a pretty productive day. We were able to get everything in here. We got uh, 7,400 kilos in our silo. Uh, it looks like our greenhouse is about ready. Um, our, we're about ready to cash that in. And I'm thinking tomorrow I'm going to do some... I'm going to go ahead and fix these fences. Um, or just depends. I might I might go ahead and work, continue harvesting, go ahead and get the canola out of the ground. And uh, I could either sell it or put it in, a, in the, uh, the other silo, which is right above. You can see it right there. I could store it up there uh, until I get a, a price I like. Um, but yeah, not bad. 14 days in. My roof still looks like shit. Maybe I'll fix that tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. 
But uh, chickens are asleep, cows are rested, everybody's happy. I think that's been a productive day. So there you go. That's day 14 of Farmer's Dynasty. My epic challenge to get as rich as possible, get married, ha get as much done as I can in the first planting season, the fall season. So until next time, you guys keep planting. If you liked what you saw, definitely hit that subscribe button. You can share and comment below. Let me know if you know where the chests are. That'd be interesting to find out. And other than that, you guys keep on gaming. We'll see you next time.